No media or Nancy Pelosi false narratives or phony Joe Biden campaign ad can change the truth about the real chronology of the coronavirus. The real coronavirus chronology shows Trump was on top of it while Biden was mocking the danger. In our last expose, we exposed the nine times the media weaponized coronavirus coverage to attack President Trump. Click the link above or in the description to see that video. In this conservative take expose, we will cover in the March 31st, 2020 article by Cleta Mitchell from The Federalist. In this, she lays out the timeline of the COVID-19 outbreak from its outset to today. We will challenge the Democrats' claim that President Trump did not act swiftly enough to face and combat the challenge. We will look at the many missteps the World Health Organization took. We will talk about China's obvious role in all of this and who, if any, provided cover as they misled on the worldwide stage. What do we know and when do we know it? We shall see. Lastly, we will show what actions the Trump administration took and when he took them. Let's begin. The leftist national media incessantly reports that the spread of the coronavirus is, well, President Trump's fault. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, always good for the most incendiary and least helpful comments in any difficult situation, said on Sunday, quote, the president, his denial at the beginning was deadly, end quote. Uh, what the president, his uh, denial at the beginning uh, was deadly. Then in Joe Biden's latest effort to be relevant, his campaign has released an ad attacking President Trump for not being efficiently responsive to the threats of the coronavirus from the, quote, beginning, end quote. Here is a key fact. In the beginning, China lied. People died. Although the first case of the coronavirus was reported in Wuhan, China in early December 2019, the Chinese authorities continued through January 2020 to downplay the potential for the disease to spread. The World Health Organization reinforced China's falsehoods, saying on January 14th that, quote, preliminary investigations conducted by the Chinese authorities have found no clear evidence of human-to-human -human transmission of the novel coronavirus, COVID-19, identified in Wuhan, China, end quote. This was five to six weeks after the opposite was confirmed to be the case in Wuhan. Biden's supposed chronicle of Trump's administration failures derides the president's statement on January 22nd, saying, we have it under total control. It is one person coming in from China. What was actually happening in the United States on January 22nd? It was one person coming in from China, and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control had yet to confirm the human-to-human -human spread of the virus. So what did we know? When did we know it? On January 17th, the CDC and the Department of Homeland Security announced that American citizens returning from travel-restricted countries were being rerouted to specific airports where they would be screened and isolated. The CDC on that day also stated that, quote, based on current information, the risk from COVID-19 to the American public is currently deemed to be low, end quote. Japan, South Korea, and Thailand reported their first cases of coronavirus on January 20th. On January 21st, the first case of coronavirus in the United States was reported of a man who had traveled from Wuhan, China. That is the case President Trump referred to the next day. The Biden ad skips from January 22nd to February 27th, ignoring crucial developments during that time period. January 24th, the CDC confirmed the second U.S. case of coronavirus, adding again that, quote, based on what we know right now, the immediate risk to America remains low, end quote. January 28th, the WHO published another statement about the coronavirus with a photograph and headline saying, quote, WHO, China leaders, discuss next steps in battle against coronavirus outbreak, end quote. Pictured are WHO Director General Ted Ross Adenum Gebrisis in Beijing with Chinese President Xi Jinping. According to the release, the WHO delegation highly appreciated the actions China has implemented in response to the outbreak, its speed in identifying the virus, and openness to sharing information with WHO and other countries, end quote. Think about that. On January 28th, the WHO praised China for its speed and openness in dealing with the virus. The same day, President Trump expanded U.S. airport screenings to identify travelers showing symptoms and instituted mandatory quarantines. 
On January 30th, the WHO declared a global health emergency of international concern. On January 30th, the CDC confirmed publicly for the first time the person-to-person -person spread of Wuhan virus and applauded WHO's decision. That day, the president created the White House Coronavirus Task Force to coordinate efforts regarding the new disease. The next day, January 31st, the president declared coronavirus a U.S. public health emergency and issued the ban on travel between the United States and China. On that same day, the Senate voted on the production of additional documents in the impeachment trial of President Trump. Campaigning in Iowa that day, Biden criticized President Trump's China travel ban, saying during an Iowa campaign event, this is no time for Donald Trump's record of hysteria and xenophobia. February 4th. The White House directed the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to step up coronavirus diagnostic testing procedures. February 5th, the CDC issued a public statement saying, While we continue to believe the immediate risk of COVID-19 exposure to the general public is low, CDC is undertaking measures to keep that risk low. February 18th, the CDC reaffirmed that the, quote, risk to Americans from coronavirus is low. February 20th, the administration raised travel warnings to their highest level for Japan and South Korea. It was not until February 26 that the first case of suspected local transmission in the United States was announced by the CDC. President Trump that day named Vice President Pence to lead the coronavirus task force. The next day, February 27, Pence named Dr. Deborah Burke to serve as the White House Coronavirus Response Coordinator. On February 29th, the first death from the coronavirus was recorded in the United States. On that date, President Trump halted travel with Iran. On March 11th, the WHO declared coronavirus a worldwide pandemic. The next day, on March 12th, President Trump imposed travel restrictions on Europe and elsewhere. Biden criticized that decision also. Then, on March 13th, President Trump declared a national emergency. If Pelosi believes the president should have done something at the beginning, when exactly does she think was the beginning? Was it during the impeachment proceedings that Pelosi instigated? Should Pelosi bear some responsibility for what she perceives as the president's failure to focus on the coronavirus back in January? The single most important step taken by President Trump was his closing of U.S. travel with China, which happened on January 31st something the president reminds us at every briefing. He's right, but what he doesn't say is he made that decision at a time the CDC was assuring us the risk to America was low, the WHO was covering for China, Democrats were trying to impeach the president, and Biden was attacking the decision as xenophobic. It is impossible to overestimate the number of American lives saved by that monumentous decision by President Trump on January 31st and no media or Pelosi false narratives or phony Biden campaign ad can change the truth about the real chronology of the coronavirus. So what are your thoughts? After hearing the timeline, do you agree that the chronology of the coronavirus shows Trump was on top of it from the very beginning? And moreover, do you agree with Ms. Mitchell that during those early days, presidential candidate Joe Biden was mocking the danger? Please let us know in the comments below. And again, if you like what we do here at The Conservative Take, please hit the like and subscribe button, that bell icon, and please share it with your friends. It helps to grow this channel. And lastly, please check out some content that we have right here.